somebody must have been trying to swallow some grub before they got here, because I'm catching whiffs of greasy burger outside. So let me get this straight. I invite you, my friend who's trying to make new friends, to a house party of a chick I'm into, and you attempt to create a situation in which you're naked in front of said chick? Am I missing anything? Oh, good. I'm glad I covered everything. I guess it's true what they say. The friends you make in your high school Dungeons and Dragons club will always try to fuck the girl you're into. For art? Fuck no. But even if I did, I wouldn't share it with you. You're the competition, bitch. And guess what? I don't lose. I make the best art, motherfucker. The big old shits I take in the morning are like chiseled marble. I paint jizz racks from the tip of my artist dick, who just so happens to be named Vincent Van Gogh. Are you still listening to me? go. I wish I knew how to work these things. Electronics are so confusing. Now I've got to have Madison turn it back on. I found a safe in Madison's closet. I demanded the code so I could search it for booze. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Look, dude. I get it. I'm a beautiful man. I can't say I haven't noticed the way that you've been looking at me all night, but uh, if this is your way of coming on to me, I should let you know that I prefer a more direct approach. Listen, if you can't be honest with yourself, then you'll never really be able to be honest with anybody else. Let me know when you're ready to admit your feelings for me, and then we'll talk. Single girl that wouldn't trade tits with her. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Look, dude. If there's a chance there's alcohol in that there thermos, I need to take that very seriously. I can't check on myself because just the smell of alcohol makes me sick. Not for nothing, though, but I don't know you well enough. Maybe if you could prove to me that you could be trusted, I'll see what I can do.
What the fuck? Who said you could come in here? And why are your grimy hands on my safe? Get out now! Hey again, are you lost? I tried to tell her that nobody cares about her stupid boobs. I mean, I know my aren't as big as hers, but I go out all the time with half my cleavage on display, and you don't see me crying about it. <laughs> she's a big baby. I heard she's a lesbian too, so you may not want to play the Good Samaritan card with her. It probably won't get you anywhere. Hmm. Well, I've been exploring the world of sculptures lately. Late Renaissance period, wax museum replicas of 80s action stars, stuff like that. Something detailed. Like, something you can look at for hours without minding. Say in case someone's dad needs to grab a smoke but gets distracted by older off-strip casinos. Yeah, I think I'd like to see a sculpture. Oh, and every piece of art needs a message. Yeah, a sculpture with a message. And you better be ready to present it to some of my guests in an intimate setting. Yeah, on a lit pedestal. Should be easy, right? Hey again, are you lost? What? Excuse me? Is that your idea of a pickup line? Oh, sorry, I... Never mind. That picture, it's... More or less a vigil, actually. For Pergalicious. She belongs to Derek. Or belonged to Derek. It's, uh, complicated. Look, I was watching after Pergalicious while Derek was out of town, and she just up and disappeared. I don't know what happened, but it's caused a rift between Derek and I amongst other things. I said it's complicated, okay? Hey again, are you lost? Whoa, not that it's any big deal, but yeah. My initial steps have been with the aid of pre-designed templates. Got a problem with that, Da Vinci? Thank you. I'm getting better, all right. I just had to start somewhere. It's like when I first learned to bowl, I used the bumpers. And so what if I was 20? The guy who rents out the shoes said I had the best form out of anyone. Then he grabbed my ass, which makes me think he wasn't talking about my bowling form. Hey again, are you lost? Hey, how's it going? Rachel, my dearest friend. Oh, I'm so glad that you could make it. Is there a specific reason you're helping that asshat? So what if his head's pounding? Patrick is bleached, blonde, garbage. And I'm worried you are too if you're helping him. <sighs> Did you not listen to me the first time? Is my volume too low? Ugh. If I ever wake up in the real world, first thing I'm doing is emailing Bobby about his audio source settings. Right 
Hey again, are you lost? Just when I had written you off as being a waste of space, you delivered the greatest payback of the night. Fuck, dude, I only wish I could have seen you spill that beer on Madison. I don't know if you can tell from my top, but I had a similar run-in with a spilled drink. Madison slipped, apparently. I guess there's a positive side for you being such a dickhead. Well done, dickhead. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Yeah, that was going to be my little contribution to the party. That's Nippy Dick's Chili Stick Maker. You put ice in the back, then it starts making ice pops that you can flavor and all that. Unfortunately, Nippy Dick went out of business a few years ago for offering more than just chili sticks. So I had to buy that thing from some collector. And wouldn't you know it, it's as broke as a son of a bitch. So Nippy Dick now gathers dust in the garage. Some party, right? Hmm... I'll try to phrase his other offering in the form of a catchy commercial jingle. Nippy Dicks and Slimy Randy's Taiwanese Tricks. He and some other guy ran a whole bunch of massage parlors that were all about happy endings provided by women who didn't know any English whatsoever. I wonder if any of them know where I could find a working chili stick machine. Eh, oh well. If you can get it working, more power to you. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Really? Oh yeah, that blonde chick that's really down on herself. You're right, I like totally forgot about her. I didn't mean to. She's just... Well, it's hard to stand out when you're locked away like that. I'd try to go and like show her that there's nothing to worry about, but I just met her tonight and only for like three seconds. You do that? Like, you're pretty fucking awesome. And to think I was thinking of ways to steal your credit card information. Only kidding. But I mean, if you want to write those numbers down... Every single time, the same fucking song. How is it even possible that Madison only owns one song? Are we in the same kind of simulation and licensing restrictions that have kept our overlords from accessing other songs? I mean, come on! You want into our gang, dude? We don't drink. We don't eat gluten. Come on, dude. There's jackets and everything. I can't believe my buddy came. Seriously, I can't believe it. They usually only meet people through the realm of rebellion, or through that part of Rick's list that people don't like to talk about. Yeah, I hid the whipped cream as best I could, and by best I could, I mean I just pushed it to the back of the fridge. If stuff's really about whipping CO2, she'll at least have to search for it. it. Smells like sex, like everywhere around this place. What have you been up to? I think what you're smelling is actually a new fragrance that Madison's trying out. It's called Slut Sauce. Fuck, are you kidding? I saw that online and ordered three bottles of it. I thought it was a barbecue sauce. I won't listen to anybody trying to get this booze. Except, except maybe that Catherine shit. I like the way she operates. Just being a fucking giant bitch to everybody. <laughs> it's sexy shit, though. Wait, wait. Patrick's our cousin, not our manager. Who told you that he was our manager? What would he even be managing? I'm not saying I don't believe in aliens, but I'm also most definitely not not saying that either. They could be listening. And the last thing I want to do is deny them their existence. How's it going, brah? Any luck finding painkillers? Sorry, brah. 
I don't think I know you well enough to trust you with it. Nothing personal. Just a bra's gotta look out for himself, you know? How's it going, bra? Any luck finding painkillers? Totally, bra. A bra is always prepared. You never know when you might have to get down and dirty, know what I mean? Oh wait, did you say a condom? Nah, I don't have any of those, bra. Sorry. How's it going, bra? Any luck finding painkillers? Frank Schmank. <laughs> he doesn't scare me. Easy, bra. Every time I see Frank, I hide it down the front of my pants. I was here before Frank got here, and when he showed up and started scooping up all of the booze, I threw this baby down my pants. I'm halfway through it, and I'm feeling good. Want a swig? <laughs> Who's saying that inter- How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? I'm gonna fuck his shit up. How long do these kind of parties last? Could I go ahead and slip out? I think everybody's seen me. <gasps> the garage is just a drink storage right now, so the rest of us has a valid license. Though there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Ambient dialogue is for the birds. Gotta check my feed, you know, to make sure all those people I didn't invite are at least aware of this party. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? totally came through with the aspirin, brah. Thanks so much. But we're like bras for life now. Let me know if you need anything. I'm so drunk, brah. Totally, brah. I just, uh, well, I just can't remember where I put it. My memory's not so great when I've been drinking. I usually give it to somebody to hold for me when I start getting buzzed. I didn't throw it away. I just put it in the deck. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? That fuck face? Even if I knew where his phone was, I wouldn't tell you. I'd sooner smash it into a billion pieces, throw the pieces in a bag and tie it to a cement block and throw it in the river. I'm gonna fuck his shit up. Oh my god! Overall <gasps> prescriptions are super easy to get. Just hey you, great job hooking Patrick up with those painkillers. He's been complaining about his head all night. I was trying to brainstorm how to help him out, and dancing helps me think. Now I can just get back to enjoying the party by dancing. Like, I don't even think he has a phone. I've never seen him using it. Wait, what? It's 2017 already? I think I like missed my dentist appointment. I'm at every piece of work with an open mind. I wish I was watching a stream right now. Do you know of any new talent? Hello again. Art? 
Um, my dad is a curator of an art museum, and my mom is an award-winning photographer from the 80s. <laughs> she has crazy stories from those days. Like one time she rolled acid with Mr. T. <sighs> I've got to chill out. Yes, I know art. I've never heard of any party that requires a sculpture. Should I have made a sculpture? Is this a bring-your-own-sculpture party? BYOS? I hope nobody's grabbed that penguin from the garage that Ashley lugged in. That's what I'd use as the base of my sculpture. But she seemed kinda into it. <laughs> um, um, don't tell anybody, but I definitely just popped a hyperall. I prescribed to them to help me study, but they also make me way sociable. And I'm making some friends tonight, damn it, if it's the last thing I do. Or the first thing I do. Do you want to be my friend? I have as many of them as I need. That's all I have to say on the matter. I'm only invited to these things because of the people that I know. Hey, how's it going? No, I haven't seen it, sorry. <laughs> I'm so drunk, brah. Brah, I'll tell you the story if you've got time to listen. It's a doozy. All right, get ready, brah. Long ago, in the distant land of the San Bernardo Valley, there was but a boy, a brah in the making. This baby bra had great potential, but his teachers would always make him feel bad because words with more than four letters in them played tricks on his brain and didn't make no sense. He also liked to catch stuff on fire and steal porno mags from the gas station. For these reasons, that boy was labeled a problem child. But the young bra listened not. Oh no, he never gave up. While other kids were off learning math and all about the constitution, this young bra was learning all about the internet. Pff, fine, I guess you're not one for the art of storytelling. Here's the bottom line. I'm a fucking genius who owns a company where people can share nude pics. It made me rich and also a badass. Ah, well, this site that I own, it's called NeighborhoodWatch.com. You ever heard of it? Let's say you haven't, even though I can see it in you, you dirty dog bra. Like I said, Neighborhood Watch is known globally for being the repo of the most smut-tastic dick pics, ass snaps, upskirts, and everything in between. And when I say in between, of course, I mean pics of the gooch. One way we became the best was by letting users submit their own pics. Homemade shit, you get me? Right, bra. NW is a great, wholesome site, but sometimes users will go against my code of conduct. You know, angry dudes posting pics of their ex-girlfriends, or bras posting evidence of a one-night stand with Miss Pensatrola County 2016. All this happens without the girl's permission, and I'm not down with that. <laughs> if only I were so lucky, I could scrub that right off the site. I mean, they say the internet lasts forever, but my company is working on some tech right now that... Um, never mind. Nah, Rachel's just a good person, brah. She's standing up for women everywhere. Damn, when I say it like that, I think I'm the asshole. Oh, she wants it shut down for good. Wipe the drive, shut down the servers, complete brahnihilation. It isn't just her either. She's got an army of people behind her and I'll be honest, it makes me sad. Cause I love Neighborhood Watch. It's my baby. But I've got a plan. Grease and some palms, brah, winning her over with some of that sweet, sweet palm grease. The guy I met at the bus stop earlier told me that's how you win over anybody. My only problem is, I have no fucking clue what that means. Will you help me? What does it mean to grease someone's palm? Oh, alright, alright, alright. That phrase doesn't make any sense to me, but you seem like a smart bra, so I got a briber. Alright, I gotta play it safe though, cause that mean old guy with the black poncho and the wooden hammer said that if they ever catch me bribing people again, I'd be in big trouble. 
Hey, I don't judge anybody, even if they are mean. But you know, that old guy didn't say anything about winning people over with kindness. It ain't a bribe if there's no dough involved, right? So that's how we bribe her. Not with cash, but by making this the best night of her life. I can just see it on Rachel's face. She's not having a good time. So we fix that. And after we take care of all her party needs and she's in party heaven, we reveal that it was her good pal Patrick that made it all happen. Ye of so little faith, brah. Of course it's gonna work. She'll have no choice but to call off the dogs after this. She'll love Patrick and the site too. But she doesn't love me yet. In fact, I can't even get near to her without her turning tail and running away. But she doesn't have a problem with you. Which is why you're gonna be my bra operative on the ground. You're gonna find out what could make Rachel's night even better and then tell me so I can make it happen. Like some kind of awesome genie in a brothel. And for your actions, believe me when I say you will be generously rewarded. Sound good? Hell yeah! I'll be around trying to play the part of an awesome party guest. Won't be a hard cover for me. <laughs> Come find me when you've got some intel.